So when looking at the foot, you have these bones that make up this tarsal region. So these are the tarsal bones, everything below these. And so they all look rocky and pebbly. And so they're before the metatarsals, the finger, or the, sorry, the long toe bones. And so we start with calcaneus. Remember, it's named after calcaneal, the back of the heel. And so that's the part that elevates off the ground. And so when you tippy toe, this part elevates off the ground. This is the heel in English, but the calcaneus bone. And the talus, this is the one that makes contact with the tibia. It is the one that handles all the weight of the tibia. So talus starts with a T. Next, you have this navicular. And this navicular will be holding on to three bones that are named exactly the same. Cuneiform, cuneiform, cuneiform. You have your medial cuneiform. And again, the big toe is medial. Intermediate cuneiform and lateral cuneiform. And lastly, we have cuboid. The cuboid usually is always connected to the last two digits of the foot. So that's how I usually know it's the cuboid right off the bat. And when we look at our metatarsals, metatarsal one, it starts at the thumb. So one, two, three, four, five. You make sure to write metatarsal one, metatarsal two, three, four, five. Now, the ph phalanges, all of, as a group, they're called phalanges. One is phalanx with an X at the end. And so you have, this is closer or more proximal to the trunk. So proximal phalanx, middle phalanx, distal phalanx, and it just repeats itself. You have proximal phalanx, middle, distal. Proximal, middle, distal, proximal, middle, distal, but the big toe only has proximal and then distal. It does not have a middle phalanx. And thank you so much. That's the whole lower lip. So now I can post that.